Okay. Miss Minerva. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this one's for me. XXW. So this is my archetype. Group buy for this is looking to be, what, September 29th? So if you don't know archetype, is an artisan maker with the octopuses. I have never won an archetype artisan. So there's a lot of things in here that I want to look at. So the first thing are these nubbins. So these are little magnetic pegs that you put on the back of the board. But we have these little nubbins. We have these little silicone. So they look like socks or they act like socks, but these are the little silicones that go on when you mount them. So these are the lighter ones. The blue ones are a little heavier. This is uh, the Easy Mate connector. So this is actually a different GST cable. So check this out. Instead of going in from the side, it actually clips in from the top. And then you would just press this on right here, like that. And then you would just pull it off like that. So it's called the Easy Mate connector. It's not a, a standard JST, so you don't plug it in from the side, you press it in from the top. So there is PC plate in here, but we're going to be using carbon fiber. So this is the Proto 1v1. The production run will be uh, 1.2. There will be a few things changing it. This is the Storm colorway, so it is two-toned. It's actually a little bit more purple IRL. Okay, yeah, so this is more accurate. This is the Alloweight. I think on the website, the Storm one comes with a black PVD, so it's gonna be shiny, but this is Alu, so it's not shiny. If you're curious how the shiny weight looks like, Tim Keyless actually has it. Tim stole it from this build. He licked it! Wow. Nice. So this is supposed to have the black PVD, the brass one. Here are the little feet. So oh, there's a lot of colors. <laughs> there's a lot of confirmed colors. So let me read the list. Ghost, Royal, Pope, Storm, which is this one, Carbon, Malbec, Wisp. And then looks like they're still trying to decide between Heritage and Moss at the moment. But yeah, so this is, this is the board. Here's the front. Here's the side. So it is seamed. Here's a back. Big old weight that you can pick. There's also multiple weight options. So tentative but likely you'll have three brass variations, black mirror PVD, sandblasted black PVD, sandblasted gray PVD, copper, which is sandblasted, the clear protective PVD, brass, sandblasted raw, no coating, and alu E white. But here is the USB side. So this part is for the little nubbins. So these are little magnetic nubbins. There'll be different colors that you can buy. So you can just... Bloop! So they just snap on. So you got five little nubbins. There will be different colors that you can pick from. I think Mech was saying that eventually the plan is to have a bunch of these. Uh, some will be raffle for, I guess, really special edition but the goal is to just have it on the website available for anyone to buy but yeah they are magnetic and then you can actually you can swap them around for whatever you're feeling and the fit's pretty tight so they're not gonna wobble and it goes pretty deep in there you don't really have to worry about it knocking off let's look at the pcb while we're here Okay, so PCB is not the final version, right? So here's what the PCB looks like. Top piece, bottom piece, you can break these off. There is no perky LED. Yeah, so you have step caps, different space bar, because there's two layouts. So it looks like you can do split back space. So here's the back. So here is the easy connector. Wait, so it's interesting, because on this one, the main part, like the alphas, don't have perky. 
But if you look over here, those are slots for perky LEDs. I don't know if this is going to be perma. We are including through hole UV LEDs for underglow for specific artisan caps. Nice. So this is not the this is not the final version. It's not going to be for split right. It's just this one. It's just this PCB that I have. And I also have the 1.1 version and you guys will be buying the 1.2. But yeah, we're going to be using carbon fiber and we're going to be using um using lavenders today. My cat has a really bad habit of chewing on cardboard. So anytime I have a box, she just like chews on it. But one time she chewed up one of my PCBs and I couldn't fix it. So now anytime she's around my boxes, I have to like tell her, be gone. <laughs> oh, I have three of them. I have three of them. Where's Mo? So normally they'll jump on my chair and sit right here. So you'll probably see one in a little bit. As soon as I give them attention, they're they're not gonna stop. They're the type where it's like, <laughs> when you give them attention, they're just like, oh, they take it as like a sign to then be like a shithead. <laughs> okay, so whenever you guys are building this, so you see this part where you see the gold right here? This is the part that goes up. And you see this part? No gold. This is the part that goes down on the connector. So you want to see the gold. So you just... Boop! So you just literally press it in like that. And then... If you're trying to take it out, you just lift it up. Boop! And then press it back in. All right, so now we have to assemble this together. So let me just pull this off pretty easily. Uh, so one thing about PC is that um, the production run will have metal threaded. Right now it doesn't have it for this one, but the production run will. So I'm gonna use a harder feet. If you, let me show you guys this. Can you see that? It says bottom. And this part says pop. It's very faint. So bottom piece, it does matter, the orientation. So pretty nice. So the bottom part is the flat part. The top part is the more curvy part. And then you can mix and match the gaskets if you want. So essentially, I had to like push it in from the side and then it kind of fell into place from there. I'm gonna screw this in first. These are the heavier ones. The blue is heavy. Gray ones are lighter, softer. So then now we take this. So if I push this down, so this is a pretty tight fit. I think that's correct. Okay, we're done. Hey, lady crush out. That's okay. I ate a fat ass crepe earlier and I also passed out. I ate a huge crepe. Strawberry, banana, Nutella with whipped cream. It was good. You pulled an XXW. Yo, why am I known as that? What the? Cakes are overrated. Okay, hot take. <laughs> you make me hungry. Sorry, Yavo. You don't know what a crepe is? It's a really thin pancake or basically a French taco. <laughs> you did not just say French taco. <laughs> yeah, I had one of my friends tell me crepe is a French taco and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> There's the board. Oh my god, look at my face cam, look. Oh my god, look at... Oh my... Sorry, I was looking at my arm muscle. Anyways, yeah, so this is the board. So let's do our typing test.
my dog. <laughs> Dang, I like that. Uh, okay, but yeah, this is the board. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Tell me guys, tell me what you guys think. And I'll tell you guys what I think. So uh, I think this space bar, I could hit the space bar all day, every day. Oh, so one thing that's like pretty interesting. So there's, there's a border around the entire keycaps like that. It actually goes lower as you go lower. So this little part is raised and then as you go down, it eventually becomes one with the board. That's something I didn't notice until now. That's very subtle. I didn't notice it at all. Check that out. You see the taper? It gets deeper as you go higher and it gets more shallow as you go lower. Dang. There's so many subtle things in this word. So if you look at this part too, look, you see how it's flush and then as you get higher it starts to go in and then raises up wow there's so many small details on this word yeah lots of subtle things i didn't notice until now but yeah that's the board thank you mech for reaching out and letting me build it this is a fantastic there's lots of fine details that as I'm looking at the board, I'm noticing more and more. But yeah, the space bar. The space bar is so good. I love it.